you want to run a game on Roll20 but need players, you might want to list your game to our community using our Looking for a Group tool. To start, we first have to create the game we want people to join. Think of it like setting up a game table before inviting people over to play. Go to the menu, click Create Game, and give it a name. If you're playing a pre-made module you bought on the Roll20 Marketplace, it'll be on the right-hand side. Just click it, and it'll load your module and character sheet. If not, you can choose from a variety of character sheets from the drop-down below. If you're running this game as a publisher or as a representative of a publisher, your game creation page will have the option to select that game system under Tags. Do so if you're playing that system. When you're done, click Create Game. Great! This is our game's landing page and what new players will see once we've invited them to play the game. Before we list a game, we're going to need to put in what game we're playing and when we're playing it. This one's called Cthulhu, so let's put that in. Now, let's put in a date we want in this section. We're listing this game to the public, so it can't be more than three months away. I'm planning on running this game on October 31st, so let's put that in. Now let's find some players. Click the Looking for Players dropdown, and then Create Listing. The next screen explains you'll be listing your game to other Roll20 players. So, make sure to have some basic information in your game before you start your listing. These listings are only for game masters that want to play a specific game on a specific date. So, if you're looking for more of a new group to play with, we recommend checking out the forums or updating your public profiles to list yourself in the player directory. Let's click Create LFG Listing. Here we have our listings page. Any errors for our listing will show up on the left-hand side. At the very least, you will need to set a date and include a total number of players. Everything else is optional. Although, the more information, the better chance you'll have at attracting new players to your game. Let's take a look at our listing. Remember when we entered the game system and scheduled our game from the game's details page? That's where this info is coming from. If we want to update this information, we'll have to go back to our game's details page. The listing needs a minimum amount of players to go active. So we're going to hold off on filling this section until we have the rest of the form filled out first. Next we have the game type, followed by the frequency. Frequency is how often you'll be playing this game. The audio visual section is whether or not you'll be using Roll20's video and voice features. Some people don't feel comfortable using video or voice with strangers, so you might want to take that into account when listing your game. Go ahead and set your primary language. And then because this is a new game, and we're up for helping people learn the rules, we're going to check new players welcome. If we wanted people to be familiar with the system beforehand, we would not check this box. The game I'm hosting isn't 18 plus content, so I'm not going to check this. The next part is our paid games. Please note that Roll20 is not responsible for any payment transactions and cannot enforce any private arrangements. Roll20 does ask for additional guidelines to be followed that includes paid games must be marked via the checkbox, payment method, amount, and frequency must be clear, no solicitations, and a payment disclaimer. You can read more on these guidelines here at this link, and I'll also provide a link in the description. Next, we have a pickup game. This option is available so people can automatically join the game without your approval. Lastly, we have our description section. Here's where we can talk about the game or ourselves and include any information or disclaimers that a new player might find useful when deciding. Let's scroll back up to the top and type the number of players we want. Remember, this number includes you, the Game Master. So, if you're looking for four players, add one for the Game Master and type five. Click Save to post your listing. And there you have it. Your post is live. Depending on when you posted your listing, it may take up to two hours for a listing to appear in the LFG search. Have fun playing!